At Watertown Fire Stations today, you saw some different things. It wasn't all Watertown trucks. That's a West Carthage truck, one from Lowville, all part of the plan for the city fire department to have water to respond to a fire. Remember, officials don't really trust the hydrants right now. 7 News reporter Zach Grady learns more about the tanker task force. At this point now, uh, things are finally settling down and we feel like we've got some good plans in place. So our concerns are quite a bit less than they have been. Concerns that began early Thursday morning as a main break drained the water and pressure from pipes and hydrants across the city. The department is now working with several others from outside the city to help provide fire protection if a call were to come in. We would not be able to provide the what we would need to fight fire in these times without the support of our neighbors. Uh, and nobody can. That's why it's so important for us uh, as a fire service to work together. It's imperative that everybody, you know, uh, works for the better of the community, and that's that's what's the utmost importance. So um, people have different equipment and different capabilities, and when them capabilities are needed and equipment's needed, you, you do what's needed to be done to get the job done. Along with neighboring departments, New York State is also sending specialized equipment to the city. Crews are here along the Black River testing state-provided equipment. The hoses given to the city of Watertown will allow the fire department to fight fires and take water from the Black River to as far as Samaritan Hospital or the air brake parking lot. It's quite an operation to get uh, what is basically a water main, above ground water main into service. The chief says even as water lines refill, the city will not use the hydrants until all of the reservoirs are back to their normal levels. Zach Grady, 7 News.